السلام علیکم ویورس ویلکم ٹو لائف ود حسن اختر آر ٹوڈیز لیسن از ریلیٹڈ ٹو کلاس نائنتھ یونٹ نمبر ٹویلو نیم آف یونٹ از لائن بائی سیکٹرس اینڈ اینگل بائی سیکٹرس ویور یو آر نو دس از آ چیپٹر ریلیٹڈ ٹو تھیرمس سو ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو کمپلیٹ فرسٹ تھیرم آف دس یونٹ Here you are seeing two items, one is line bisectors and the other is angle bisectors. Viewers in today's theorem, line bisectors definition will be utilized. So I'll start my today's lesson from the definition of line bisectors. Another definition, angle bisector, I will provide you at the time when we are to do the theorem related to angle bisector. So the first definition, right bisector of a line segment. Viewers, what is right bisector of a line segment? Definition says, a line is called a right bisector of a line segment if it is perpendicular to the line segment and passes through its midpoint. Viewers, see the below diagram that will make you the wording clear that here is ABR line segment. CD is a line, you can see AB is fixed and CD can be increased. A line has no end point whereas a line segment has two fixed end points named here A and B. So you can see here that the line is passing through the midpoint of line segment AB and this line is called right bisector of line segment AB. Hope this is clear to you all. We now move towards the statement of first theorem. Theorem number 12.1.1 Statement says, prove that any point on the right bisector of a line segment is equidistant from its end points. Viewers, this portion which is now I am highlighting and underlining this is the required portion before that from the start till this the word is this is your given so what you are given you are given a line segment then it's right bisector and what you have to prove that that any point on that right bisector will be equidistant from its end points I repeat again, you are having a line segment, you are given a right bisector and there is any point on the right bisector, you have to prove that that point will be equidistant from the end points of the line segment. As you all know, after the statement, you need to draw neat and clean diagram. So I explain the diagram for you first of all. What says statement? Here is a line segment AB. The total line is mentioned line LM. That is the right bisector of the line segment AB. And you have to prove that this line LM containing point P, this point P will be equidistant from end point A and end point B. That is, you will have to prove that this distance, this line segment AP will be congruent to this line segment PP. Hope you all clear. Moreover, in the diagram, you can see here angle number 1, angle number 2, and you are familiar about the symbol. It is showing the right angle, an angle of my ear, 90 degree, because the right bisector is perpendicular to the line segment AB. We move towards the next heading that is R given. What we are given? We are given a line LM. Viewers, you may write like this, line LM, you may write the symbol like this, LM and upon symbol of line. Choice is yours. Both are correct. A line LM intersects the line segment AB at the point C such that line LM is perpendicular to line segment AB. You all are familiar about this is the symbol for perpendicular. And AC is congruent to BC. P 
पी इज अ पॉइंट ऑन लाइन एल एम वी वर दिस इज अ टोटल इंफॉर्मेशन गिवन टू अस वी आर टू यूज दिस इंफॉर्मेशन एज गिवन आई गिव यू मोर एक्सप्लेनेशन ओवर हेयर दैट वी हैव यूज इन गिवन दैट ए सी इज कॉमन टू बी सी व्यूवर्स इन द डेफिनेशन यू कम टू नो दैट दिस लाइन इज परपेंडिकुलर एंड पॉसिंग थ्रू द मिड पॉइंट सो द टू parts ac and cb are equal that's why it is given to us it is known to us what we have to prove let's see we have to prove that side pa is congruent to side pb or you may say line segment pa is congruent to line segment pp we are you know the next step in theorem is construction it says join p to the points a and b for your easiness i label the diagram once again you need to draw only one time what we did you can see here p is joined dotted with a as well as p is joined dotted with b already you people know that in construction dotted work is shown through the diagram our final part that is proof comprising of statements and reasons it starts in triangle acp yes pay attention please here in triangle acp corresponding with triangle bcp what we have ac side is congruent to side bc you may say line segment ac is congruent to line segment bc i have already explained that it is given to us how given to us because c is the midpoint so the two parts are equal next we have angle acp is congruent to angle bcp this angle is mentioned in figure number 1 and angle bcp is mentioned in figure as angle number 2 what is its reason reason is that side pc is perpendicular to side ab so that each angle at c is equal to 90 degree you already know that when one line or one line segment is perpendicular to another line or another line segment the angle framed will be of measure 90 degree the next you have side pc is congruent to side pc which is common in both the triangles so if you see here side then angle and then side we have reached to the fact that therefore triangle acp is congruent to triangle bcp by utilizing sas postulate have a look at the diagram sas how it is completing one side you ca calculated was ac other side you used was pc you can see that both sides are including this angle in triangle acp whereas in another triangle bcp these two sides are including this angle so that is sas postulate is fulfilled so your triangle acp is congruent to triangle bcp by sas postulate viewers you all know that when the triangles are congruent their remaining sides their remaining angles they are congruent hence side pa is congruent to side pb its reason is corresponding sides of congruent triangles this is the end of theorem viewers hope you all understand a very easy and small size of theorem thank you very much